Hi there, um, this is a quick video um, about the new SDR Play RSP Duo. Um, this is the software running on my small travel laptop, um, which is too small really. There's not enough real estate on the screen to do the software justice. Um, this is the actual receiver itself. Um, this time comes in a sturdy metal cabinet. Uh, and the, the innovation here, which I guess a lot of you will be aware of, is that this SDR receiver has two tuners, um, two independent tuners. So uh, you can connect, well, it has two 50 ohm ant external antenna inputs on each tuner. Um, and then tuner one's got a, a high impedance connection and, um, and a ground. Um, and tuner two has a bias T. Um, both tuners connect to your laptop via a single USB cable um, and it can be operated using two instances of the SDR Uno software. So yesterday I downloaded the latest version which is version 1.23, I think I had version 1.22 and that gives you the option of the dual mode which is there and the software download and installation was seamless as it always is with SDR Uno. Um, you and it, it allows you to set up two instances of the software you can label one master and one slave and then the master uh, version uh, tuner sits at the top here and the slave version automatically sits underneath although of course you can arrange them yourselves if you want now the idea of this receiver is that you can monitor two signals at either end of the radio spectrum so you can be listening to antenna satellite on long wave on 153 kilohertz and you can be monitoring a VHF or UHF signal up to two gigahertz. Um, the other advantage is that if you just run a single tuner you have a maximum bandwidth of up to 10 megahertz. If you run both tuners in parallel there's a maximum bandwidth of two megahertz which is still excellent. Um, I'm doing, having said all that, I'm doing something slightly different. So what I am monitoring the signal from Oman on 15.140 megahertz and I am uh, monitoring that signal using two active antennas, a Wellbrook ALA 1530 and a Benito Bonnie Whip. Um, and for someone like me, who spends a lot of time testing uh, antennas, etc., it's actually quite useful for me to be able to do this. So in real time, I'm looking at, the, at this signal from Oman uh, using the master and slave receiver um, with two different antennas. And if I... So there you go. So there you go. So yeah, uh, so for me, that's really useful. Um, but it, of course, it's also useful to be able to monitor basically anywhere on the radio spectrum. Um, and yeah, I mean, I, you know, from my point of view, I'm going, to, I'm going to be very interested to test the um, uh, the RSP Duo. I mean, the RSP One A is superb um, for the money, you know, price as a function of performance. It doesn't get any better than that, you know. As I've said previously, you know, it's a 15% of the cost and 95% of the performance of an ELAD FDM duo, um, you know. And I'm not making this stuff up. You know, you've read the reviews that I've written, you've seen reception videos, you know, transatlantic medium wave DX, etc. So I'm expecting equally good results um, with the uh, RSP duo, um, uh, and yet you've doubled the fun because you've got both channels now. This isn't the first time I've tried monitoring more than one signal. You can do it on the ELAD. The ELAD has a second channel option, which gives you effectively four kind of virtual receivers per channel. So I have monitored up to eight receive channels on my ELAD FDM Duo in parallel. And you can do it, but my goodness, it takes a lot of setting up. Um, you know, it's... Uh, it's a it's a pain to 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 set it up and uh, and you need you know like I said you need a very large screen to do that it's it's unwieldy so I don't do it very often um, but you know being able to well to effectively have access to two independent receivers um, which is effectively what we have here you know that you can use uh, to monitor signals that are extremely spatially separated by frequency um, you know I think it's a superb concept uh, and I'm looking forward to um, to testing it
uh, and you know spending some time tuning around the bands. It's a shame that the sort of the North American uh, medium wave DX season's over, um, but no doubt I'll have a lot of fun on shortwave, and I'm going to have to um, test this receiver up beyond HF into VHF. Um, so I shall uh, have a go at that as well. But um, so there you go. Um, like I said, this screen on my small travel laptop is nowhere near big enough to do the software justice. Um, but uh, I shall set this up at home on another computer with a large screen and uh, and take it from there. Um, I think that's about it. I mean, there are videos already appearing on the internet that take you through from uh, clicking the play button and setting it all up and you know, there's no point in me doing that because it, that information already exists. Um, I think my next videos will probably be reception videos, but if I come across any nuances with the software or any particular settings that I think are going to aid DX, then uh, of course I'll share them with you. Um, but for the time being, I think uh, that, you know, what I've given you is a kind of an overview of uh, this product. So um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, more to come. Thanks for watching.